I'd like to uh, thank all organizers to give me this opportunity to present here a program and a mapping you. Uh, we are developing a, a novel virus, uh, oncolytic virus as oncolytic uh, therapy. So the virus is a new Kaiser disease virus. Um, we all know oncolytic virus can be used to uh, cancer treatment. The two mechanisms uh, involved, direct, direct oncolysis and immune immediate cell deaths. When the, the virus entered the tumors, then in fact the tumor cells kills the tumor and spreading in the tumors. And the virus also can infect the uh, tumor vessel cells and the ca cause the vessel collapse, stuffing the tumor and the debulking the tumor. When the tumor dies, they release the cancer antigen, cytokines, and uh, danger signal. In uh, track, the immune cells infiltrate in the tumors and establish the immune-mediated cell deaths and against the tumor. The many oncolytic virus has been tested in the preclinical and clinical trials. Several of them reached the later stage um, clinical trial stage. That's why there's a renewed interest in the oncolytic virus as in the uh, cancer therapy. For many immune, all interested is in the uh, virus in the only virus, pyramexoviridine um, here. And this virus is single, is a negative sense, single-stranded only virus. It's a long human pathogen. It's an avian pathogen in fact the chicken. So it's a, um, a poultry re, um, pathogen. It infects many cells, but only selectively replicate in cancer cells due to the antiviral pathway in the cancer cells. Uh, NDV can replicate in high titers in the cancer cells, uh, in the cells and uh, in the eggs. Um, natural occurring NDV has been tested in clinical trials in phase one in the phase two and it's been so safe and it's a therapeutic activity. However, this virus virulent NDV was classified as select agent in 2008. Since then, there's not many uh, leukocytes disease virus in the clinical uh, development. And many immune, we feel we have the expertise in reverse genetics. We can uh, make a recombinant virus, reduce the chicken virulence while maintaining the cell, uh, tumor cell killing. And uh, when can, uh, I know we don't think the single virus therapy would work. We would combine with, in how, uh, with our immune mediated cancer therapy or other therapies to enhance the anti-tumor property. So our challenge for this program is making recombinant virus. The strain we selected is NDV 73T. It has been used in previous trials and it shows it's effective. Uh, this virus is a classified select agent. It has as ICPI 1.6. ICPI, the code, is intracerebral pathogenicity test, uh, index. It's a simple test. Uh, inject this virus in a uh, in chicken, young chicken brain and then score the sickness. If the score less than 0.7, that's uh, um, classified as no, puzzle, no virulence. And in, in the other places like uh, UK, uh, Europe, there has to be less than 0.4 in this category. And the virus in this category, it does not have efficient cell, uh, tumor cell killing. But if the score less uh, more than 0.7, they classified as a selected agent. But uh, this class, this class of virus, they can kill the cells, uh, tumor cells, efficiently. So our goal is uh, making a recombinant virus that have low um, chicken virulence, or uh, still can kill the tumor cells efficiently. And this virus can express uh, by insert a transgene to increase anti-tumor response and we want to maintain high yield in the cells and it's genetically stable. So three strategies will have, will have been used to attenuate the virus. The main one is the modification of the fusion protein cleavage site. This is the main factor for this virus virulence. Our other strategy is the insertion and the P and the L junction. This is where we use for the transgene or reporter gene. 
Uh, another uh, strategy is to stretch the HN and the L junction. This is in code for RNA uh, polymerase. After we have this uh, CDNA made or co-trans effect with a trans, um, trans, uh, supporting plasmid into RNA polymerase uh, expression cells and recover the, the virus. So first the transgene was selected to insert is a GMSSF, which, which is a, a growth factor for many immune cells. It has been used in clinical trial with other oncolytic, uh, oncolytic virus. So uh, that's the main reason we selected this as the first transgenes. In the process, we, are, we also invited other transgenes. So, so far, we uh, generated many uh, different classes through the, all the three uh, approach modification. The Y type uh, NDV, the cleavage site without any modification at the cleavage site, the virus can uh, form large plaques spreading very well and does not need a trypsin in the media for growth. Um, they kill tumor cells very efficiently. The tumor cells we use here is human uh, fibrosarcoma cells, but it's virulent. With modification F1, this virus does not spread in well in the cells without the trypsin. They need a trypsin for growth. It does not uh, kill the tumor cells, and, uh, this is, but it's also not virulent in the chicken. A lot of modification is F2 uh, at the cleavage site. There was the virus improved spreading, uh, improved cell killing, not virulent in the chicken, but we're not satisfied with cell killing, and then we did more modification with F3. This is spreading better, uh, very efficient kill as a wild type. It's uh, ICPI 0.6. We would like to um, reduce this. So I did a lot of modification by insertion at HN and L. And we bring that, now we're bringing down the virulence and maintain uh, the, the cell killing and the virus is spreading. And this virus does not need a trypsin in the media for growth. We feel those two F1 and F3I, this one was insertion HN and L as a candidate for the further uh, evaluation. So this is a growth in the cells and in the eggs. Uh, compared to Y type, both virus F3I and F2, the growth high, uh, high titers uh, uh, comparable to Y type in, in, the, in the cells. So the genetic modification does not affect the virus growth. But in the eggs, the virus growth reduced, um, probably likely the uh, L expression reduced. And then we compare the selectivity in the tumor cells and the normal cells. Both virus infect the tumor cells, but not normal cells. And you can see in the co-culture more clearly um, the killed tumor cells, uh, GFP virus killed tumor cells and leave the uh, normal cells. And the titer is about a 50 fold difference. And this is a cell panel screening, uh, the 170 cell panel. F3I have more sensitive, uh, they killed more tumor cells, about 60% tumor cells are sensitive, while the F2 only 6%. And then we checked the cells, um, the, those two constructs in the vivo with the uh, mice, the human fibrosarcoma, implanted the tumor and then injected the, the virus seven days later by intratumor injection. And you can see here, the F3I has a comparable tumor regression as a Y type, and F2 is not, not so efficient. And then we look at the uh, intravenous uh, administration F3I, they cause the significant tumor uh, regression. Whether this is tumor, this virus go to the cancer cells or versus the normal organs, we look, take out the, um, the tissues and two hours uh, and for three days, uh, one, two weeks. And they can, you can see the normal tissue, the virus does not accumulate, they're going down. While in the tumor, the virus uh, titer going higher indicate the virus selectively replicated in tumors. And for the transgene here, all the virus we use, the human GMSSF, they also have a similar pattern uh, correlated with the replication. And uh, this replication in the tumor, we checked uh, the immune cells infiltrate. And see here, uh, on the day four, all the cell, uh, immune cells accumulate. 
and so does the cytokines. So in a summary, we, uh, we, found we have two candidates going forward, and F3 I appear more competent, uh, more potent in the cell tumor, uh, tumor cell screening. In summary, we, uh, have, we successfully uh, established a recombinant uh, NDV. Uh, transgene we, we found is in vivo and in vitro active expressed by this virus. But next step, we need to check this virus in syngenic model, and uh, we would like to combine with other uh, therapies. And uh, this, is a, um, this is a collaboration of a mountain immune at California and Cambridge. And I take the questions. Um, how do you know that the genetic modifications that you've made in the virus are stable through time? Yeah, um, I should mention, we, we, uh, we are checking this genetic stable by uh, passage in the cells, passing in the eggs. Uh, initial study indicate uh, the, gen the modification, it is stable, but we don't know whether it will be stable um, in the animal model. That's what we'd check, but it, it is stable in the cells, and also we pass it in, in the eggs, it, it is stable. Hi there. Is it known uh, why modification of the cleavage site affects virulence but not growth? Yeah, um, the virulence, the virulent NDV, the, they are cleaved by furin. We used to have much more broad tissue distribution. That's why those virus, uh, those virus are more virulent. The less virulent in DV, they only cleave by trypsin, as I showed F1. They're only present in the respiratory and in the digestive tract, so it's not so virulent. So uh, we, we just, yeah. Um, what was the half-life of the virus after you injected it, and did you, I guess you noticed immunity in subsequent uh, injections? What is, what, sorry? So uh, what was the half-life of the virion? in the animals? Um, we single dose, so um, in the normal tissue, we only see the virus for the first uh, two days. But in the tumor, it appeared uh, about two weeks. And you only did one dose? Yeah. Do you know how it was being cleared? Um, yes. Uh, in, day four, we don't, we don't see any virus in the normal tissues. Is it known what host factors uh, are present in the tumor cell that allows the tumors to be more susceptible to the replication? And then if you were to compare all of those different tumor cell lines that you looked at, can you then predict which tumors would be more susceptible to this based on whether or not they're expressing uh, the susceptibility factors? Yeah, um, this was not very clear. Uh, there's some report before 2008, because after 2008, select agent that very limited lab can work on it. But uh, uh, interferon defect, apoptosis pathway has been involved. But in terms of the cell panel, we uh, study it, and we hired a postdoc to study the mechanism. Okay, so my question is regarding the select agent rules. According to one of your slides, you show the medium and high virulence strains. They are in the category of the USDA select agents. So currently, you are new recombinant virus. It's not in that category, or do you get some kind of pre-approval from FS USDA? So that's my question. The other question is, you talk about the, the virulence of this new recombinant strain. But according to the any infectious diseases, there are three factors involved in the diseases, including the, the virus itself and the transmission mode and the host defense. So have you got any chance to address the transmission mode and the host defense or pathogenesis of the virus? I believe this is a little bit complicated, but the first question is the select agent rule. I believe that's very important for the laboratory by safety. Yeah, um, when we started working with, on this program, we applied an uh, uh, exemption for USDA for the permission to work on the white type of virus. And uh, for first, uh, uh, after 14 months, USDA gave us an uh, exemption to work on the white type. 
That's why we can, we can show the Y type of the type. And uh, our recombinant, we, um, we, after the virus made, we sent to USDA for the test, ICPI test. Um, they give they just, they give us a score if the less than 0.7 is a classified as select age, uh, non-select agent, but we didn't we haven't done any transmission study yet. <clears throat> 